questions the meaning of her relationship when given the recent changes in her boyfriend's routine. Haley presents herself and requests help from cheaters. I met Mike at a comedy show one night. I went, you know, with a friend or two of mine and we were, you know, he was on stage and just, you know, the whole time during his set, he was just like, he just kept looking at me and I'm just like, okay. And, you know, after his show or whatever, he came down and he came and found me, brought me a drink and, you know, told me how cute I was or whatever. And we exchanged numbers and, you know, it was amazing. It's been, I've been with Mike about two years now, coming up on two years. And those two years have been just, you know, up until lately have been, you know, amazing. You know, he's always looking for something for us to do. Uh, we do have an age gap. You know, there's 14 years in between us. And I've always dated an older men, so I didn't feel like that would be a problem. But it's just like lately, I don't know if it's got anything to do with our age gap or anything, but something has changed with him lately. Michael Bowers, age 37, a comedian accused of treating his relationship like a joke. Upon receipt of Haley's intel about the suspect's schedule, Cheaters deploys a team to the suspect's residence. Sometime later, agents spot Michael Bowers as he departs his home. The unaware comedian drives to a comedy club. Bowers greets an unknown woman with an extended hug. They enter the club. You know, he'll tell me, you know, babe, I got a gig tonight. You know, I'm going over here tonight. And now it's like I'm finding out about him after the fact. Like he'll have a gig and I, you know, don't know about the gig for three nights after the fact. So it's like, what were you doing that you felt the need not to tell me where you were? You know, that's a problem. When I get off work, you know, I'm calling him, baby, you hungry? I'm going to cook. You know, I get no response or he's got a last minute show he's got to prepare for all of a sudden. Or, you know, it's just, it's like he doesn't want to spend time with me anymore. It's like no matter what I do, I go out of my way to make even an hour just to spend with him. And he never has the time to talk to me, let alone spend with me. Sometime later, the suspect and his mysterious companion leave the building. Bowers gets into his car. Cheater sticks to the suspected cheater as he drives through the city. Bowers returns home and ends this night of surveillance. The fact that Mike might be cheating on me, it, especially knowing everything I've been through in my past, every heartache, every upset, with every man I've been with, and he promised he would never hurt me. He promised me kids, he promised me marriage. And now here I am trying to figure out what he's doing with his spare time. And it's, if I'm not what he wants, if he wants someone else, then he needs to tell me that. Man, as a man, he needs to tell me that he wants someone else so that I can move on with my life and find someone who doesn't want to play with my heart. Cheater sleuths persist with the stakeout. Sometime later, the suspect leaves home under the relentless gaze of investigators. The comedian drives to a particular area of town known to have exotic dance clubs and arrives at one such club. After a short wait, the female from previous surveillance, now identified as Queen Shaquina Thomas, joins him. Powers and Thomas walk into the club. Sometime later, the suspect and his companion emerge from the building. Bowers escorts his date to their cars. The comedian gallantly opens the back door to his vehicle. Thomas climbs in. Bowers joins her for some unadulterated fun. Sometime later, both parties exit the car whilst Bowers struggles to zip up his trousers. Thomas gives the suspect a farewell hug and kiss. The suspect drives away followed by cheaters. The man returns home for the rest of the evening. Sticking to the surveillance, a cheater's camera spies suspect Bowers when he leaves home. The comic travels to a fast food restaurant. The man enters the restaurant alone. Sometime later, Thomas's familiar vehicle arrives. She too enters the restaurant. Inside, Bowers greets his dinner date as they stand in line. They sit down to eat their meal. 
Sometime later, after the food has been devoured, the suspect and his companion head back to their vehicles. Surprisingly, the pair leave in tandem. Cheater's investigators follow the pair of cars. Thomas follows Bowers back to the funny man's home. The pair merrily make their way into the suspect's home. Sometime later, detectives see Thomas leaving the suspect's home. As the woman departs, Cheaters prepares a package for a distraught Haley. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that the suspect has proven himself unfaithful, Cheaters arranges a get-together to apprise Haley of the wrongdoings. Brimming with desperation, Haley willingly agrees to meet. Haley, the first thing I'd like to say is, uh, you know, thank you for being here tonight. I just want to warn you, some of the things you're about to see may upset you. Um, they may bring up a lot of different emotions. I'm ready. And I just want to prepare you, Haley. You sure? I'm ready. I need to know. OK. Haley, on this day, we were outside of Mike's home. That's when we see Mike walk down the stairs. He gets into his car, and he leaves. As our detectives follow Mike, he drives for some distance. And a few moments later, he arrives at this strip club. I'm going to stop it right there. There's a female waiting for him. She parks right next to Mike. You recognize her? <laughs> yeah, that's Queen. That's Queen? You know this woman? Yeah, it's supposed to be my friend. Really? So this woman is your friend? It's supposed to be. OK, well, they, they go to the strip club and together. And that's my man. Holding hands, they go inside, enjoy themselves, and they come out together. I'm going to stop right there. You're sure that's? That's her. That's, that's Queen, and that's my man. OK, well, your man Mike actually goes to the back of his vehicle, escorts her into the passenger side. In the back of the car. They spend an hour in the back of the car together. And he's fixing his pants? Fixing his pants. She gives him a kiss goodbye, grabs him by the neck. He gets into his vehicle, she gets into hers. Mike leaves, and he returns home for the evening. Listen, I know that this is really hard to watch, but this man has no right to do this to you. And what's most important is, is Mike thinks that he's gonna get away with this, and I got a really rude awakening for him. That's not a joke, and that's the truth. Okay, Haley? I promise you that by the end of tonight, that this ball and the chain attached to it will not be a problem anymore if you choose to. I'm going to show you one more day, and we're going to get out of here, OK? OK. All right, I promise you we're going to get you through this. You're not by yourself. We are all here for you, OK? OK. All right. Haley, on this day of our investigation, we're outside of Mike's home. He emerges, walks out on a phone call while getting into his car. That's when we see him leave. As our detectives follow him, he arrives at a fast food joint, parks his car, walks inside. That's when we see the woman from the following day go into the fast food joint and join Mike. The two of them order their food and sit together at the table. While they're sharing this meal together, Mike receives a phone call. What you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation, Haley. You're on the phone. I want you to listen to this first and tell me if you remember this, OK? Not only did he just completely lie to you, you were cooking dinner for him? So I'm cooking dinner, and he's out with this bitch. After finishing up their meal, we see the two of them exit, soft drinks in hand. That's when we see Mike leave in his vehicle. She follows him to his house. The two of them walk up the stairs together. She spends a few hours, according to our detectives, at his home and later emerges fixing her hair. She gets into her vehicle, and she leaves the residence. At this point in time, we're going to get on the road. I'm going to give our detective on the case a call. We're going to get a position on them. 
And are you ready to confront Mike? I'm ready. All right, then write this I'm way. ready. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, detective. What you got going on, man? Okay, they followed Michael to a strip club. He was greeted by Queen. All right, we will be there shortly. We are probably, I'd say, about maybe six, seven minutes out. All right, I'll see you on site. I'll be looking for you. We're here at the strip club. There's our detective right there. All right, let's stop. Let's get our camera ops out. And let's get lined up. Everybody out. It's very tight. It's very tight. Oh. It's very tight. Stay to the right. Stay to the right. Oh, look at my hair doing. Oh, this hair doing. Whoa! Whoa. Look at all my hair doing. Whoa. Why is she with you right now, Mike? This is my friend. Do you have sex with all your friends? You gotta take it outside. You gotta take it outside. Take it outside. Coming up, the conclusion. Okay, they followed Michael to a strip club. Oh, look at my hair doing. Oh, no. Come outside and talk to me. Mike, I want to know why you would cheat on your girl. What the f we doing? Nah, I mean, you been, like you been with her nah, two years, man. Here. say this on a phone call when you guys were eating. Come over here, listen to this phone call. Ain't that wrong? I mean, oh, Jesus. We all cool, so it is what it is. Come on. You the one out here in public. He's Get lying. He says I love this, you to her. He said to everybody. He said to everybody. He's a comedian. That's what he do. Don't touch me. That's what he do. Get your no. over here. Where is you going? Hey, hey, hey. Say, you f***ing up a nautical, bitch. Hey. So how do you know he's not going to? How do you know he's not going to do this to you, Mike? Are you drunk? You ain't got on me. He got to be drunk. You can't even talk, man. What's going on? It doesn't matter. He ain't got to say about it. You, I mean, you look more lit up than a firecracker, dude. What's going on? Hey, man, look. Let me tell you. Just talk to me, man to man. What happened? I was having a business meeting with, with my friend. Let me talk to Mike. Tell him, Mike. Got nothing but love for my people, and we was chilling. Mike, y'all came in like. Can you tell her this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill me. Hey, she deserves the truth. Just let she him do. talk. She do. Hey. And then this will be over. She got some she good call you. Let yeah, him hear it from I her. If I had to go through all this. Say your feet stinking, you got boot drugs, butt paste in your drawers. Hey, oh, hey. Bitch. Hey. She got some good qualities about her. Okay. She got some good qualities about her, too. Okay. And if I bring both of those qualities so together, together, they know together. It, it, it's going to be a good thing for me. What? And this is what you... you this you guys support? No. Don't run. No, no. What you mean? Right You're gonna now? let him disrespect you like that? Now? What you talking about? Together, we're gonna be together. Together what? Together. It's all together, right here. Just drunk ain't even together. Just drunk ain't even good enough. Just drunk ain't even good enough. Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey. I mean, you think this is a joke? Look at my room. I know you're a comedian, but this doesn't seem like a joke, man. Uh, get that camera out of my face, man. I need to know for her sake how long this has been going on. Months. Going Give me on. the time. No. How long? I was with him before that because bitch was. was. That bitch was never supposed to get involved, but he a hoe ass. 
And you're still and you're still respecting this man? No, I don't. I got something for him. I got something for your mother ass. Give me the serious. It's gonna be okay. What you think you're doing? I'm just saying, like, she was so a So you think team. your stroke's that good? You think your stroke's that good? He's high as a kite. I mean, he's... He got I mean, his brain's on a damn kite string. Baby, you hey, know not hey, to play hey, with hey. Me. I'm just saying... You we, know not to play with me. He doesn't want to give just... any answers. And that girl doesn't make any sense. She contradicts herself. I don't, I, I don't even... I, I'm just... She says, to... I want to be with him because he's this, this, and that, but he's also a liar and a cheater and all this. I'm just ready to go home. I'm, I'm over it. I'm over him. I'm over her. The only reason I needed your hoe ass to cheat, right, is because I got a mother... You look here, hey, both hey, of hey, us hey, talk. Hey, hey. What, what's really going on here, man? Like, why is this... Like, what... Cheat right. Who can't cheat right? I'm over it. Let's go. Get out of here. I'm over it. All right. They can have each other. That's what he wants. Again, I say he traded filet mignon for a 10 piece chicken nuggets. He can have that. It's all love, man. How everybody doing? Hey, buddy. Hey, drinks on me, man. Can you move your Honda, please, sir? Listen, I know that did not go the way that you expected, but he was high as a kite. He smokes marijuana, obviously. Something. If you, whether he was drunk or high, there's just no... It doesn't matter. Come on, man. Come on, make sure she... Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. I got you. I got you. I just saved your life. You owe me three dollars. He don't owe you a mother thing. I'm going to whoop your ass, Mike. Do you hear me? I will see you again, mother... Come here, let me tell you something. I am not mad. What's wrong? I am not mad. What's wrong? I am come all the way here. Let me Why tell you something. Okay. Let me profess my mother... <laughs> I'm just glad that now I just know, now I know so that I don't feel bad moving forward with anything that I do. Mm -hmm. I don't even know what's going on, man, but hey, I'll tell y'all this much, man. I'm going to talk to A, I'm going to talk to B, we're going to make C and D. I'm going to go back in the club, man. I'll holler at y'all, bro. Update me. Coming up next to heartache for Jennifer McKenzie. As her fiancé continually postpones their wedding plans, his unusual behavior causes Jennifer to look deeper into his unsettling actions. Hoping to find the cause of his oscillation, Jennifer turns to those with expertise in discerning the truth. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. I'm here today because I have suspicion that my fiancé Thomas could possibly be cheating on me. Um, there's moments that he'll be at work, um, and usually he'll always answer his phone, always, even through a text or answer his phone calls, always. Just past two weeks, maybe two, three weeks, no response, and even if I get a response, it's late, you know, a couple hours later, there's always an excuse. His reaction is always, oh, I've just met up with the guys, I got caught up. That's his favorite thing to use. I got caught up, sorry. And so I just kind of go with it, you know, but it's just getting worse and worse. And I would just, I really just want to know what's up. It's just, there was never an excuse in the beginning. And now that's, that's all I hear. And so it's just, he's always tired and he just comes straight home, drunk, smells like alcohol, you know, and just goes to bed. He's like, we'll talk about it later. And there's never later, you know, even in the morning. We'll talk about it in the morning. That never comes. If Thomas is messing around on me, my whole world would end. It would, because I love him so much. He has been my everything. I've given him every piece of myself, my heart, my soul, me 100% through this entire relationship. And if I am to find out that he hasn't been, I would be so crushed. My world would be, be over. It would be it. I would be young. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Thomas Grimes, age 29. A consultant suspected of managing multiple women in and out of town. Investigation day two. 
With a perimeter set around the suspect's place of employment, agents on watch catch sight of Thomas Grimes leaving his office on foot. Ground units track Grimes from the high-profile office building across the street and down a few blocks to a restaurant and brewery. The suspect settles on the large patio next to a raven-haired unknown female. While they gobble down the tavern cuisine, the comfy couple welcome the night. The patio lights turn on, and under the supposed safety of shadow, the two let their desires take over, stealing a number of kisses from one another. Once the fall air begins to blow, the two apparently decide to take the party to a new location. Mobile units are at the ready when Grimes chooses to follow his dinner companion to her apartment complex. Grimes' companion shows her strength as the suspect seems to need a piggyback ride up to the entrance gate. The weight of the situation causes them to finally just hold hands as they enter. Mobile units play the waiting game for almost two hours before sight of the suspect is re-established. As he exits, his companion is seen bidding adieu in just her cotton robe. The two share a passionate kiss by the gate before Grimes finally returns to his car and makes his way home to a suspicious Jennifer. Investigation Day 5. Hoping to discover more palpable evidence, Cheater's mobile crews man their posts at Jennifer and Grimes' home. The suspect exits carrying a workout bag. He jumps into his car and makes tracks to a nearby gym. Grimes makes sure that his car is locked before entering. A good workout lasts about an hour. Grimes, however, appears after 15 minutes with a woman from prior surveillance, now identified as Amber on his arm. The two jump into Grimes' automobile and are followed to a local coffee shop. Ground agents trail the duo inside and settle next to a table across from the lovers. The two seem to have a wonderful time, laughing together with constant hands upon one another. After finishing their beverages, the couple begin the walk back to the suspect's ride with his hand firmly planted on his workout partner's derriere. Once back at the gym's parking lot, the couple embrace before heading for a new location. The private moment is interrupted, however, by this recorded phone call from Jennifer. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Jim. Jim Park? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just here at Elizabeth, and, you know, we're drinking wine and about to start a movie. Oh, okay. Um, what time do you think you're going to get off? I'm going to be late tonight. Uh, me, Alvaro, Scott, a couple of guys. Well, we're actually still on this one, but we're waiting on a call from the London office. And so, uh, do me a favor. Call me when the movie's over. I love you. Knowing that their time is now short, Grimes and Amber share a few fleeting moments kissing beside her car before Grimes begrudgingly returns home for the rest of the evening. Investigation Day 7. Agents on duty don't want any surprises on this day. They station themselves across the parking garage from the suspect's car. Grimes exits and enters his automobile. A short jaunt down the road reveals the suspect's intention to continue his deception of Jennifer by picking up Amber, who is an acquaintance of Jennifer's, for a date. The two are tracked to a nearby bar, and after some drinks, Amber becomes the aggressor, sexually attacking her willing prey. Earlier in the day, Cheater's agents confirmed that Jennifer had a late night planned with her friend Elizabeth. Amber evidently also has this knowledge as she leads Grimes to his car. The two arrive at Jennifer's residence, and internal cameras previously placed by Jennifer capture the unmentionable deeds that occur. After finishing their carnal adventure in the bedroom, the two finally part, leaving detectives to return to headquarters and prepare the disturbing footage for Jennifer's review. Coming up, the confrontation. With her fiancé's caustic cavorting in full display, Jennifer's brought in for complete disclosure. Frightened by the findings, she readies herself for the disturbing results. We have information that may answer some of the curiosities that you have about what's been taking place in your relationship. Okay. Are you prepared 
to see that information now. Yes. Yes. Early in our investigation, Thomas was followed as he left his place of employment. He goes to a patio bar where he meets a young lady. And we can see that this exchange starts to take a romantic turn. After some time, they gather their things and they follow one another to a residence. As they enter, we can see the two of them have obvious romantic inclinations. And later that evening, as he exits, we see that she escorts him out in a robe and from there, he returns home. On this day, we were again outside of Thomas's employment. At the end of the business day, he exits and he goes directly to the home of this young lady. From there, they drive to a bar, imbibe a few cocktails. We could again see their exchanges are becoming more and more public. And after some time, this romantic interlude winds up back at your home. After a few stolen moments on the sofa, they retire into the bedroom. Where did Thomas tell you he was going to be this evening? Told me that he's gonna be with his guys out having a couple drinks after he was leaving the gym. And he's told you that before? Yes, more than once, yes. Instead of going out with his friends this evening, he picked up the same young lady. Let me contact our detective and I'll see if I can find out where they are precisely okay. at this moment. <clears throat> hey, we just uh, we just finished up with a briefing right now. What do you have? What's happening on your end? Okay, so they're still there. All right, we're we're in the neighborhood, so we're just going to load up and, and head in your direction. See you in a second. All right, he picked her up. And they went to a restaurant. They're still there right now. Okay. You ready to go? Yes, let's right, do this. Come with me. Has he ever acted like this at any time before in your relationship? No, not up until, I mean, just recently, last month or so. I mean, the first, in the beginning, it was great. And then it's just slowly died down. And then now, now this bull. All right, there we go. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Where are they? Right over there. Get on her alpha cam. How the did you do that to me? What the? You couldn't tell me that before in my face. What the? Huh? What the? What are you making up here? It's been so long. We've been in this forever. What the? Four years. Four years. Four years, Thomas. What the? Why would you do this to me? Coming up, the conclusion. He picked her up and they went to a restaurant. Did you do that to me? What the? Bitch! Oh my god, oh my god. Four years, I have a ring and everything, and I have to find out this. Are you kidding me? I can't believe it. So the ring, everything was fake. Everything was no, fake. No, my grandma's. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
you want it back? Everything was fake then, huh? All of it was fake. No, it wasn't fake. How did you meet? How did we meet? Yeah. Through her. You met through her? Yeah. What the f***? me. I'm trying to talk to you. If y'all get the cameras out of my damn face, that'd be great. Let me talk to my fiance, you ass. Get out of here. How do you feel that they're engaged and oh, you're I spending time? They don't, they don't love each other. He doesn't want to be with her. Uh-huh. And you think he wants to be with you? Oh, absolutely. How long have you been doing that? That's why you don't call him not. That's why you're doing this. Right. But, right. 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 Would you agree that this isn't the type of character you want from someone that you want to spend some time with? No, he's just trapped. No, if he was trapped, he'd get out. No, he's just trapped, I promise. And you don't think Maybe he's going to do go. the same thing to you? No. Oh, really? Let's go. Fine, leave no. her. And why, why is that? No, absolutely not. But I just don't understand why you didn't tell me in the beginning. Maybe let's go. Is there a reason, Thomas? <laughs> reason no, there's never, Joey there's Greco. never a reason. You Joey Greco, you... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Easy, whoa. easy, easy, whoa. easy, easy, girls. Ladies. 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 Easy, 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 easy. Joey Greco you know, you is a. You know you're wrong. Listen, come here. Stop talking to me for a second. You know you're wrong. You might be wrong, but stop and talk to yeah, me for okay. just a second. Come here. There's nothing to say. There's nothing to I'm say. There's nothing to say. Both of them, my dude. Both of them. Hey. Give up. I ain't doing it, my dude. My dude. Give up. Hey, here comes Richard Greco. Go. Let's go. Hold on a no. sec. Let me just no. talk to her for a minute. No. Just let me talk to her no. for a minute. Let's go. Strap his back. Dad. Come here. No. Why? Because. Why? No. Why? Let's go. No. You. Go stop. No. No. Stop fighting. No. Stop. Four years, bitch. Four years, bitch. Stop. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. stop. Yeah. Don't hit me. No. Yeah. Stop. Get them apart. Get them apart. Let me talk to you for a second. Come here. Don't hit me again. Let me talk to her for a second. Look, 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 look. Come here. When we first got together. No, 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 don't hit her, don't hit her, don't hit her. Stay still. Just talk to me. Stop. Go. Stop. Let me talk to her for a second. Hey, hey. Now I got one now. Look, 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 So what was the ring for? It was all fake. No, I wanted to marry you, but I didn't want to. It was all fake. I want to marry you, but I don't want to. Okay, fine. Look, look. We'll take it. Then have her. Fine. Man, look. Fine. Take it. I don't care. Fine. Fine. Take her. Walk away. I don't want it. Fine. Stop. Look. I wanted to marry you. I want to marry you. Why didn't you just tell me that in my no. face? Why? Man. Why did you have to find out this is right now? You don't want to. Marry her. Just tell her. Why didn't you just tell me balls and tell her? Why didn't you just tell me that instead of have all this Mary, she's boring. I'm not the one that called this mother you are. I needed to know. I've been asking you forever. Well, why do you call me in here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not the one that's yeah, you, man. Oh, now you're tough. Oh, now you're tough. You might as well. I'm tough to a guy. Everyone not a girl, though. Yeah, really? I'm not going to touch a girl. You don't even want to stop and talk to me. Let's go. Fine, take your ass. Trash ass. I'm your dude. I just needed to know. That's all I needed to know. Hey. You're too pretty. You're too pretty for him anyway. Hey, you need to be great though if you want to. Let him walk off. Let him walk off. Bitch, 
You know, all I just wanted was him to tell me. That's all I wanted. If he didn't need any of this extra drama, if he would have just told me, it would have been fine. You know? It. It. You want to be with her? Whatever. You live and you learn, right? Easy come, easy go, mother. Thank mm -hmm. you. 